Well, hello. I'm going to show you how I like to take care of good antique pewter. So here we have a pewter and Cluther glass vase, early 20th century, marked on the base made by Liberty English Pewter. So it was retailed through the famous Liberty store in London circa, well, before the First World War. So let's say 1910. This thing was probably designed by the famous designer Archibald Knox. But when it was new, it would have been gleaming, positively silver looking, highly polished. But over the hundred years or so of its life, it's dulled down naturally. Now you can't recreate this. And personally, as a dealer, a collector, someone who advises on these things, I like that finish. It's a bit dull, it's a bit gray, it's charcoal-y, but it's warm and inviting and looks very just appealing to me. And most collectors think that. I mean, you could polish it, really highly polish it with metal polish or take it to someone to be, to be buffed up and restored, but you wouldn't be adding any value. In fact, you'd be taking away interest. So all I want to do here is show you how to clean it, not ruin that ancient patination, and just give it a bit of a lust of life with a little bit of wax. So I've got everything I need here. I've got a toothbrush, I've got warm, soapy water, it's just simple washing up liquid and a, and a clean cloth. I've got a bit of lovely clear beeswax. It's like the wonder product, this. And it's, it's pretty simple. Shall we get started? Okay, let's do it. So this is going to get a bit wet. Luckily, we're on a glass table. And let's remove the glass vase. This is the Clutha glass vase, which is original to the Liberty Pewter Bay. So made for Liberty by uh, is it James Cooper, Glasgow Glassmakers. Clutha takes its name from the old name from the Clyde. I think it's uh, Latin, possibly. But anyway, that is free blown, so hand blown. You can just see that rough pontil mark on the base there. Can you see just how rippled that is? That's evidence where the rod was ripped off the hot molten glass after it had been blown. So blown to fit that sleeve. Isn't that lovely? Anyway, that's as important as this, but we'll just put that away there because we're not going to do anything with that. We're going to clean the pewter. So here we go. I love doing things like this. I just adore it. Right, so I don't think this thing has been cleaned for generations. So all I'm going to do, so warm, soapy water. Don't be afraid of it. Just give it a good old scrub. It's just washing up liquid. That's all it is. But watch out. Never put pewter into a dishwasher. One, the heat can absolutely ruin the ancient patination. And two, remember, pewter is a very soft metal. And so the heat in the dishwasher can warp pewter. So you put this thing in and you would destroy a hundred and odd years of natural aging, not just in the patination, but you'd absolutely, you'd kink it. That's what you would do. And it would be completely misshapen. So loads of water, loads of soap, and it's just getting rid of dust, grime, old wax, uh, bits of built up dirt. You'd be amazed what comes off these things. Get a toothbrush. This is just an old toothbrush. And simply get into the grooves the nooks and the crannies. Again, you know, don't be afraid of it. Um, all I want to do is just reveal the odd highlight here and there and get rid of the 100 years or so of dust built into the crevices. It doesn't matter about the inside really, does it? Nobody's gonna see that, but I'll just wash it off, get rid of that wax. So I think, you know, the great thing with antiques, really to make a difference, generally doesn't take very long. And I hope there is a bit of a difference. I think there will be. Right, so just give that a bit of a dunk in the water. Uh, we're gonna dry it off. So I'm gonna give this a really good dry with the cloth and then I'm gonna let it air dry for about 10 minutes. So I'm gonna switch off, and don't worry to you, it'll be a matter of seconds. Hold on there. 
Right, I'm back. That was a very quick five minutes. So another dry cloth. So it's pretty dry now. In fact, I'll say it's bone dry. Just spend a few minutes just buffing with another dry cloth. I think you can see it's improving. Oh yeah, look at that glint. Look at that. It's just highlighting nicely. You can still see the dark patches in all the right places. So it's highlighted here, which is normal because over the last hundred and odd years, that's where it's been buffed. Nice dark patches in between the joint, between the leg and the body. That is nice. Okay, so quick buff up. That will do probably throw that over there. This is my favorite bit. So beeswax, good quality, traditional, clear beeswax. And I like putting it on with my fingers. I don't know why I just do. When I paint, because I'm a painter, I will often paint with my fingers as well. So here we go, just rub it in. Oh, I tell you what, the feeling of that is absolutely wonderful. It's so tactile. This is the best way to get to know an antique, clean it and polish it. Same applies to a classic car, by the way. I love it when I get a classic car. I love cleaning it from top to bottom. So you just get to know them. That lovely shape. Again, you don't have to fiddle faddle around too much. Just get it on for goodness sake. Oh, wow, I love it. Oh, I absolutely adore this. You know, when I had shops, I used to spend hours just polishing wood, mahogany and oak again. You get to know a piece of furniture by polishing it and it's coming together nicely, as we can see. So you could leave that wax on now if you wanted to, but I'm just going to give it a little bit of a buff up. Again, just a simple, that's not very dry. This one might be drier. Let's have a look. Just give it a buff. Oh. And the wax will protect it as well, actually. Just give it that little barrier. And you're not exactly feeding the metal. You don't really feed metal. But it's certainly just lifting it out of the doldrums. Bear with me. I'm going to do it very quickly so you're not too bored watching this. I think it's about right. Again, with antiques, you never have to be too precious with them. Let's say that is about done. So have a good look at that before I put the glass sleeve back in and you can see it completed. So that really will look after that pewter if you want for another couple of generations. But it's a nice thing to do. It's good therapy cleaning these things. So you can do it as often as you like. So there you have it, Liberty Pewter and glass vase. Isn't that utterly delicious? About 110 years old. Okay, well, I hope that was useful and helpful. Don't forget, subscribe, like, make some comments, get in touch, and don't forget my antique quizzes every Sunday night. So until next time, I'm David Harper. Cheerio.